It's day 13 on the advent calendar. Um, I've been a bit unwell this last couple of days, so that's why the videos are starting to go slow. I'm not having a, a good time with the calendar at the minute. <laughs> um, I had technical issues on day uh, 11, I think it was, so I had to put that out on day 12, and then I've just I've just come down with this cold, so I'm uh, I'm hoping to get them up at some point, but I'm just doing the filming as I go along. So here's day 13. There we go, 13. This one is Uberquell Forest Lager. So there you go, what's that? 5%. There you go. That'll be up at some point on the channel. On to the next one. I'll do. Time for another beer review. It's day 13 on the advent calendar, and I'm actually super excited to try this one because this is Uberquell Forest Lager and when I'm looking at the hops on the back, it says that there is Centennial and Chinook in this. So I'm hoping it's going to be like an IPL. Untapped's got it as a Vienna Lager, but, you know, Centennial and uh, Chinook hops, you know, they sometimes give off like a piney um, flavour. They're calling it a, a forest lager, so I'm hoping it's more... Um, pine spruce kind of thing as opposed to say forest fruits and i'm hoping it's going to be more like an ipl um it's five percent so yeah a little bit different i'm hoping um so we'll see what we get so there's the crown quite cool just the same as the bottle so yeah i'll be back i'm back on track now we're back we are back on level days um there is a knobhead pour um appearing here and um, so i'll um i'll just save that a little bit in the bottle so there is a slight haze to it is it a chill no it's not a, there's a chill haze. um steady flow bubbles there is a creamy white head courtesy of the knobhead paw um that is a shocking paw to get the nose it looks darker on camera than what it is for me it's a it's a golden or it's a golden orange whereas it looks it looks fairly dark on the on the picture right it's, it's getting nose And there is a slight spruce aroma coming off it. Yeah, a little bit piney. Right, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. And that is the beer with the advent calendar. That's, it's got grassy flavour. There is this pine, slightly bitter finish. It's got quite a creamy body. Um, I just think it works. And it's definitely more of an IPL as opposed to a Vienna Lager. Um, if I was trying this, I, um, doing this blind without knowing, I would be saying an IPL. Um, yeah, it's got all the hallmarks. It's got that, that crisp lager body. But it's also got that bitter finish, that pine notes that are coming out that you kind of associate with some IPAs. So for me, IPL. Um, and I like an IPL. So um, towards all the styles that have been in this box so far, that's probably the one that I would gravitate to the most. So for me, this is a winner. Um, I like this kind of beer. Slightly floral, that grassy pine flavour is coming out in abundance. It works an absolute treat. This is close to being a banger. Um, so yeah, I would drink this again easily. So this is the beer to beat now. We're on day 13. Um, Uberquell Forest Lager is my beer of the advent calendar so far. I think I've got about five or six as the calendars progressed, but this is the one that I would probably drink again. So um, I'm going to recommend that Uberquell for a slager. I'll add that to my Germany playlist and I'll add that to my Advent Calendar playlist. Thank you for watching and on to the next one. Cheers.